as you guys can see we are about to play god of war collections ps vita game on android Let's get started. Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here. Today I'll be talking about how to set up the Vita 3K emulator Android in 2024 to emulate your favorite PS Vita games on Android. But before starting let me talk about the minimum requirements. Now you'll need at least Android version 8.0 or above. Along with that you need at least Snapdragon 680 processor and minimum 4 to 6 GB of RAM. With that being said let's start with the setup procedure. So first of all this emulator is completely open source and a Vita 3K Android is available on its official github page it is also known as vita 3k android release 11 and here are the change logs of this release of vita 3k you can pause the video if you want to read it anyways guys once you have selected the language you will get this prompt where you will need to import the firmware as well as fund package once you select the appropriate firmware version it will say that firmware has been successfully added we will just have to tap on the ok button and yeah once that has been done just go and tap on the next button afterwards it will ask you to select interface settings but i recommend you guys customize this afterwards because uh, you'll need to first of all check out the normal version of Vita 3K Android then only you can furthermore customize it according to your preferences Anyways, welcome to Vita 3K Emulator. Here it will be mentioned that this emulator is completely open source. You just have to scroll down and make sure to untick the show next time option then tap on the close button. Once that has been done, now we'll need to create a user. So just go ahead and tap on create user and set any name according to your preferences. For example, I have created this uh, user profile. We'll just go ahead and tap on the OK button and select our user profile and there we go guys. Vita 3K emulator has successfully started on our Android devices. Now before we talk about the best settings, let me talk about the current status of Vita 3K Android. You can't expect it to emulate every single PS Vita game which is out there. It can only emulate some of the popular titles like Uncharted, God of War Collection and many others. But uh, many games are still not supported on Vita 3K Android. So if it doesn't work then you can report it to the developer of Vita 3K Android. Anyways, we'll just head on over to the file option and then tap on the third option through which you can successfully import the PS Vita games that you have legally dumped on your Android device. Here you can notice that I am dumping God of War collection onto the Vita 3K emulator Android. Anyways, there we go guys, we have successfully imported our game. We'll just go ahead and tap on the OK button and as you can see, God of War collection has been successfully imported. So this is how you can import games onto the Vita 3K emulator Android. Once that has been done, you will see a lot of options at the top such as emulation configuration controls first of all if you tap on emulation it will show you last apps which were used if you go to configuration this is the most important part you can head on over to a setting and now let me explain the best settings for Vita 3k android to start off in core settings module mode should be automatic make sure to set the cpu backend as dynamic there is only one option we have seen the dynamic cpu backend even in yuzu emulator android and make sure that enable optimizations has been tick marked in terms of gpu settings there is is a special option where you can add your custom graphics driver so if you have a device with snapdragon processor then i do recommend you guys to add an custom gpu driver for the best graphics quality as well as amazing performance a synchronous pipeline compilation can be enabled this will decrease the pipeline compilation stutter at the cost of temporary graphical glitches so if you have a low end android device then you should definitely enable this option as it will provide you with better performance we won't be enabling the asynchronous pipeline compilation anyways screen filters can be kept to default afterwards this is another important settings where you can uh, increase or decrease the internal resolution upscaling basically you can go all the way up to eight times internal resolution upscaling but i am pretty sure that none of the games will work the best uh, internal resolution upscaling settings will be 1.5x if you have an high-end android device if not then you can just go ahead and use 0.75 screen resolution upscaling like we do with the yuzu emulator android for today's video we'll be going with 1.5x resolution once that has been done make sure to set the anisotropic filtering as low as possible by default it is set to 1x you can enable the fps option it will mention that some games running at 30 fps will start to run at 60 fps on the emulator so make sure to definitely enable this option also you can enable turbo mode which will force your gpu to run at its maximum clocks now this means that uh, your android devices full potential will be used 
but note that uh, your device may heat up quite a lot while emulating PS Vita games so uh, this setting is very optional I do recommend you guys to turn off this setting so your device battery isn't harmed in the process once you import the custom graphics driver just go ahead and tap here and select the driver afterwards just go ahead and scroll down you will have to make sure to tap on the save button or else the changes will not be applied so it's a bit annoying the save button is all the way in the bottom and once you add a custom graphics driver you will need to reboot uh, your emulator for it to apply anyways let's take a look at other settings such as the audio options you can keep the audio backend as default let's head on over to system uh, you can choose circle or cross as the enter button I recommend you guys to keep everything else default you also get the uh, emulator options anyways once everything has been done just go ahead and tap on the save button then tap on close you can head on over to controls and tap on overlay you can then tap on modify overlay if you want to change the controls or rearrange the controls this is very important I don't know why the main developer of Vita 3K Android has still not fixed this issue. Anyways, once that has been done, we'll just go ahead and tap on the hide gamepad overlay. And finally, we'll just need to restart the Vita 3K emulator. Once you reopen it, just go ahead and choose your user profile. Afterwards, now is the moment of truth where we'll be trying to play God of War on our Android devices. The PS Vita title, so let's just go ahead and tap on the start button. And there we go, immediately, the God of War game will successfully start booting on our Android devices. And it will be interesting to see how much fps do we actually get also make sure to open settings afterwards head on over to emulator option and enable the performance overlay then tap on save and apply it will start the vita 3k android again but at the top left corner you will be able to see an fps bar and unfortunately the top section will remain if you want to close it just go back and then tap on the continue button and the top section will disappear anyways right here you will be able to see that we are about to emulate god of war collections on our android devices at the top left corner you will be able to see the fps we are getting straight up stable 60 fps and uh, at the bottom you will be able to see the pipelines compilation now as i mentioned before if you have an low end android device you will have to enable that pipelines option uh, to decrease stuttering issues and increase some graphical issues which are temporary anyways the epic god of war intro is here this makes me remember aerosmith dream on song anyways the graphics quality is also pretty amazing because we have increased the resolution to 1.5x and still the fps is pretty stable as you see at the top left corner even though this is just an cutscene so obviously we should be getting uh, 60 fps no issues whatsoever anyways now that we have skipped the cutscene you will be able to see that our game has successfully started but once the game starts i can notice the fps go down by a little bit but the graphics quality is looking pretty amazing so guys that was all about setting up vita 3k emulator on android be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload videos on emulators as i keep you guys up to date with all the latest emulation news so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching Goodbye.